Attention, everyone. I have incredible news. The war in Iraq is over? Better. We are getting a ping-pong table. <laughs> Alma, Alma, wake the kids. It's finally happened. In order to have easy access to the water fountain, we'll be setting up our green mistress right here. But my desk is right here. Not to worry. I know just where to put you. Your cover's been blown. Where are you? I I'm sorry, could you repeat that? You're, you're in what a stand? The worst day, stupid boss. Robbery! Ooh, I oh, Dad, stop! That's Paco, Greg and Terry's dog walker. Sorry, honey, I can't hear you over the street justice. Their dog must have gotten off leash, and, and he was chasing after him. Thank you, Haley. Ooh, I must hurry. If I'm late, Mrs. Greg and Terry give me so many pinches. Whoa, 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 not so fast, Padre. I still need to see some ID. Dad, he doesn't have any. He's an unregistered visitor. <gasps> you mean an illegal alien? What happened to the land of the free? These people have a right to be here. People? They're parasites sucking on the rich blood of America. And we need that blood to shed for oil. Your thing looks more interesting. Out of my way, I have band practice. Oh, do you think? No. But I could know. Oh, he shut you down! What are you gonna do, cry? No, I'm gonna walk out of here, because I have legs. Did you know Greg and Terry have an illegal alien walking their dog? Isn't it terrible? I'd be way too uncomfortable having some poor immigrant working for me like that. Oh, uh, are you done? I was hoping you'd talk more about yourself. Well, aren't you a Grumposaurus? I'm a Grumposaurus Rex! Bullock moved my desk to the bathroom! I'm so sick and tired of that job! I want to be my own boss! I want to make so much money that I can tell people they can kiss my firm white ass! That's the American dream! Today made me realize it's time for me to follow my true destiny! Oh no, not this again! Yes, Francine, this again! My holiday celebrations! A different handmade bear for every holiday! Look at him! How cute is he? Go on, tell him you don't love him! He's cute, but I still have a problem with the name. Celebration. It sounds like a cross between celibate and abortion. <sighs> I told you, Francine. I heard your note, I considered it, and I don't agree. And you've never once gotten them in stores in time for a holiday! Ho, ho, ho! Merry... Crap! Happy Valentine's! Crap! Maybe I would have made a holiday if you'd helped me with the sewing, but no, you have a phobia of needles. Hey, you have a phobia of seagulls. A seagull? Where? Don't let it touch me with its feet! There's no seagull. Oh. Anyway, this time I'm going to do it. My bears will be on shelves by May 14th in time for Mother's Day, so help me God! I did it! I finished the Mother's Day, bears! It's June. Crap! Maybe now you'll give this bear thing up. Never! Father's Day is the next big holiday. I just need to hire some help. Stan, you're sinking an awful lot of money into this. It's the American dream, Francine. Looks like we'll have to dip into the fund. Which one? The PDF. No! Have a little faith if you've got the time. Good news, guys. We've just been asked to perform at this year's Langley Falls Fourth of July Festival. Steve and the Astones are on our way! Awesome. Yeah! yeah. <coughs> Jerry, what are you doing? Nothing, man. We told you no drugs! And I told you if I was responsible, I wouldn't be in a band with a bunch of 14-year-olds. <coughs> Two hours, seven minutes. Not bad. And your resume looks good. Six months as a receipt checker at Best Buy. That was a super hard job. I'm sure, I'm sure. You're hired. I'll pay you four fifty an hour and all the Mr. Pibb you can drink. No, that's not how it works, man. Minimum wage is $7 an hour. I'll also need health insurance, two weeks paid vacation, sick days, pension fund. They gave you all that at Best Buy? I can't afford to do that. Hello, Father. You remember Paco. Mm. What the mm. hell is going on? We're dating now. Because Paco is a person, not a parasite sucking on the blood of America. Mm. Mas lengua, mas lengua. That means more tongue. No daughter of mine is dating an illegal alien. You're dead to me. 
Wow! Paco must be Mexican for lightning hands. How'd you like to come work for me? I'll pay you $2 an hour and all the Mr. Pib you can drink. Maximum two a day. At Best Buy, we had a slushy machine. Why don't you just marry Best Buy if you love it so much? Great job, Paco. I might just make a holiday yet. Then I'll have kiss my ass money. This is outrageous. Kiss my ass, Haley. It's already working. Dude, that rocked! Who are you? I'm Krispy Kreme McDonald's. My Krispy Kreme mama got raped by my McDonald's daddy. <gasps> what are you doing? I don't have any bones in my arms, which makes me a natural on the drums. Plus, I love music, Steve. I can't live without my jams. I gotta rock it! Gotta rock it! Gotta do it! If you don't know, now you know! Forget it! I think we should go with our first choice, Toshi's sister, Akiko. I'm thirsty from rocking it so hard. Who wants a Smirnoff ice and some bootleg Ukrainian porn? All in favor of making Krispy Kreme McDonald's our new drummer? Mr. Smith, we've sold out of your adorable bears. Yes, I knew it. You're over, Paddington, so take your little rain slicker and your little boots and go die in an alley! Do you have any more bears? Unfortunately, no, but I do have this. Paco, a prototype for my next holiday celebration. Ah! I love him! Uh, I'll take a thousand and another thousand to sell in my store! <laughs> it's happening! I'm finally making my dream come true! We're gonna need help to fill an order that big. Do you have any relatives? No, I'm an only child. I'm kidding! I'm Mexican! Ah, the sweet sound of illegals working for pennies on the dollar. Stan, could you help me bring the groceries in? Sure. Paco, tell number 14 and number 8 to go upstairs and help my wife. Oh no, Stan, that's not their job. No, it's your job, but they're gonna help you. Oh, Stan, I almost forgot. Patty LaBelle's here to see you. What? At first I thought it was Aretha Franklin, but then she said she wasn't. Miss LaBelle, Stan Smith, I love R&B music. I consider the whole genre one long song. Darling, I'm here because I'm a big fan of your bears. A friend showed me one and honey, Miss Patty just loved them. I would like to sell them on my shopping network show. Mm. Will you be able to hold us both up if I add my legs to this hug? Unload those in the kitchen. Perishables in the fridge, dry goods in the pantry. Ms. LaBelle, are you thirsty? Esperanza, get Patty LaBelle a Calistoga! And if we could walk away... Sunset Boulevard... <coughs> <laughs> hack in the hack tones. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hear one of your songs. La, 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 la. You got nothing. This is my band, so we're gonna do what I want. If you don't like it, we've got a Kiko waiting in the wings. Ooh, Stan! Isn't he just adorable? That he is, Patty. Stan! Did you know that in some countries, the bear is considered a demigod? No, I didn't, Patty. Did you know that in the gay community, a hairy man is also known as a bear? Uh, no. Well, Stan, it looks like we have a special guest with us in the studio today. Who is Oscar? He's a huge fan of your bears. In fact, maybe the love of one of your bears will heal him. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. Praise Jesus! The bear gave him the confidence to try and fail. Did he fail because our viewers didn't buy enough bears? Yes, he says yes. <laughs>